I'm making this video to review a few different types of propane heaters. Um, I've spent a few weeks um, kind of fighting uh, with some things I've bought locally and, and uh, I just wanted to get something that would work that I could I could plug in my myself and install it and uh, not have any issues just kind of get the thing working use it and carry on um, I was kind of convinced I needed to buy something from Lowe's I had a, a gift certificate that I'd gotten for Christmas and I'd just gotten a coupon in the mail so between the two I could save a pretty decent chunk off a heater that might run a few hundred dollars so I went in there and just kind of uh, started looking at what they had and made the best decision I could um, which was this Cedar Ridge Hearth um, MD4 TPU 4 brick um, propane or natural gas heater sounded like it would be plenty for my needs um, it is a uh, up to 1300 square feet I think that may be the back of the box um, anyway it's uh, 20,000 BTU something along those lines which is plenty for what I I wanted to use matter of fact I thought it'd be overkill if I installed it and I was looking forward to, to getting it going um, but um, if you're like me and you're standing in Lowe's <laughs> and you're wanting to make a decision and you're googling uh, different different things trying to figure out make the right choice I uh, I bought this thing brought it home um, and then saw the the warning on top about you might need a professional installer um, so that was disconcerting because I wanted to be able to put this in myself um, also the regulator you need is a low pressure regulator um, that's rated for one half psi or uh, I think the 11 inch water column I believe that's all kind of new territory for me um, I've always had projects that require just standard barbecue grill type regulators so um, I have one adjustable regulator I've used in the past, but it doesn't go down that low. So that was all new, and it was not at Lowe's, and it was kind of uh, a pain because I had to order it online uh, because there wasn't anything like that locally that I knew of at the time. I'm in a new area, so I didn't really know where else to go, and the guys at Lowe's didn't they didn't know anything about installing it. Um, so I just I had no answers. A lot of people um, had Googled questions or posted questions in forums that were the same as mine. My problem is I could not get gas to the pilot um, and I, I'm still not sure why. Uh, this is the second model I've, I've had. I, I took back my first one, put this one in um, and I just can't get gas to the pilot. I'm not sure if it's set by default to natural gas and there's some way to, to change it um, but I wanted to just use my gift cards. I uh, had my set budget and I was working within that budget. I couldn't, I couldn't call some guy in to, to work on it for me because that was just not going to be cost effective um, for me. And uh, uh, happened to you to uh, to have used some propane heaters in the past. You might have saw these on the floor. Uh, this one's just like a radiant type of heater. It screws into a 20 pound bottle. Um, it's it, it's fine for a small area if you're standing right over it or right near it and kind of want to warm your hands or, or warm whatever you have uh, if you're just standing nearby it's it's fine for that um, this guy um, I bought this used the igniters never worked so I've always had to fight getting it to ignite and uh, it seemed to go through a 20 pound or 20 gallon or 20 pound tank pretty fast um, so it just seemed like it was expensive to run um, it sure would get things pretty well heated up and it would blast uh, heat out of the end of this thing and uh, it, you know it's, it's fine but it's expensive to run it's fine for short term you need to thaw out pipes under your house something like that if it's safe anyway um, that kind of thing it's it's good um, for short term use but what I ended up finding was at our local Orschlands which I'd never even been to before them like I said I moved to a new area um, they had this on the shelf it had just gone on sale the day that I'd, I came in I think it was 30% off so it ended up being about $150, uh, whereas I think this uh, Cedar Ridge was like around $259. But of course I had the coupon and, and uh, discount card and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, um, this one's a, a bit smaller. Um, it's a 20,000 BTU, but it only heats up to 600 square feet, whereas this other one says up to 1,300 square feet. So I'm not really under, understanding that uh, with the, the BTU difference of only 4,000 uh, BTU an hour. But anyway, 
I noticed immediately looking at the display model of the Mr. Heater that it was going to be a lot simpler to install. There was a lot fewer uh, parts, and uh, I just I could tell immediately that this thing was going to go in and it was going to function. And that's what happened. I got I got home, went out of the shop, hooked it up. Within 30 minutes of pulling it out of the box, it was running. And uh, that's because I had taken this one out and putting it back in three or four times, two different models, and uh, yards and yards of uh, gas uh, Teflon tape or whatever. Uh, just really tired of messing with it. Um, took all my spare time for two or three weeks just tinkering with it when I had time. And, of course, it's freezing. And uh, I bought this. The whole motivation was just to kind of get something nice for my shop because I'd gotten a uh, gift certificate for Christmas. But anyway, if you want something that works, that's relatively easy to install, you don't need to necessarily call anyone <laughs> for help installing it, although that it's probably always nice if you don't have any experience and don't feel comfortable to call somebody. This thing, this thing worked, this Mr. Heater. Um, it worked without any headache, whereas this Cedar Ridge Hearth, I'm, I felt like I needed to take a course in order to get the pilot to light, and apparently there's a lot of people out there that felt the same way, and uh, any idea I came up with to, to get this thing to work has not come through, and I haven't taken it back yet, and if I do maybe get a response that kind of gives me some sort of clue, I might try it one more time, which would be the eighth or ninth time um, to get this thing working. But that's where we're at right now, and I thought I'd just uh, kind of add to the information that's out there because there might be somebody else staying in Lowe's trying to make the same decision I did. And uh, I think you'll be a lot happier with something like this, um, just a lot less of a headache. So anyway, thank you guys. Bye-bye.